Yo! Welcome to day two of Noosa Panida. So right now we are at the Thousand Island Viewpoint. Have you ever seen the photo people take with the treehouse on the islands in the background? That's the treehouse. <laughs> this view is absolutely gorgeous. Another incredible feature of Noosa Panida and probably one of the most popular photo locations. Because of that reason, we got here at 8.30 this morning to try and avoid the crowd. The downfall that is because the sun rises in that direction, everything is really blown out, so it's not the best for photo opportunities. That being said, I have got some cool photos of Diamond Beach, which is over there. Now the unfortunate thing about this is they seem to have monetized everything they possibly can here. It's expected to pay parking fees and everything like that, but they're charging you to take photos. They've got three different points which are really good for taking photos. I'm at one of them here, which is currently closed. But if you want to sit in this, it's 25,000 to take a photo. If you want to sit up here, it's 50,000 to take a photo. And if you want a photo at the treehouse itself, it's 75,000 per photo. Oh, I don't know. I don't like that. Yet they're charging like a couple quid to take a photo. It's just, don't know. Don't know how I feel about that. It's not like anyone's taking the photo for you as well. You're taking the photo yourself. So that's a bit of a shame, but the view here is absolutely gorgeous. Don't let that put you off. This is still 100% worth the visit. Just maybe you won't get the photo you want, or if you want a photo with the trio specifically, you just have to pay a little bit for it. Maybe I will because it's like the iconic place of Noose Panina, but I don't know. Something about paying for a photo I don't really like. Oh, oh, oh. See, can... That last bit was recorded up there. And I walked down here. These are the tree houses. I'm pretty sure these are all Airbnbs that you can stay in as well. Climbed up here to get this view, which is. Oh my, holy, oh. oh my God, that, that is incredible. Okay, second stop of today is Diamond Beach, that, beauty down there. Look at that. The famous Diamond Rock is over there, hence where it gets its name. Wait, it's either that one or that one. One of them is Diamond Rock, I actually don't know which one it is. But yeah, this is the second stop of the day. The drone issues continue after yesterday. Obviously I crashed on Clinking Beach yesterday. I've literally just sat here for about 20 minutes. I had to dismantle it and shake out sand because it was, it was like a sand shaker. I can still hear some in there, but I just, I can't get any more out. So it's flying. I had some issues with the gimbal was going, Whoa! I uh, had some issues, but it's now up in the air. I'll go in to get some shots without the gimbal going crazy. So, fingers crossed. I just gotta wait for the sand to come out. The more I fly over, the more sand will get loose and come out. But we'll see. But, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. There, yeah, I'm now gonna make my way down some steps. I'm gonna spend a few hours down on Diamond Beach. Where else in the world would you be standing on a staircase half into the side of a cliff face? Climbing down to a gorgeous beach and having to basically rock climb down the bottom to actually get down there. I, I just love Indonesia. We made it. I'm getting straight in there. Yo, I'm here at our next stop, which is Sui Ban. Might be saying that wrong, beach. Which is that beautiful beach there behind me, which looks absolutely stunning. However, what you can see is that the tide is coming in. It's currently half one. Apparently high tide is at half three. Now the steps to get down to this end here, and the tide's already getting quite high. So I don't think we've got that long here before 
we're gonna have to get up before our, our exit route is basically blocked off. But look how gorgeous this is. So I'd say if you're gonna get here, come a little bit earlier than this. Luckily, because it's midday, the sun is already over the crest of the cliff. So the whole walk down here, which was a hell of a hike, by the way, is all in the shade. So it's not too bad. In the sun, that would be hell. I'm not looking forward to going back up it. Side note, it's such a clear day, you can see Lombok. So I'm gonna get some snaps. I don't know if we're gonna chill out here that long just because of the how rough that tide is. And as you can see, there isn't much beach left. But I'm gonna get some photos because it's an absolutely gorgeous location. And yeah, see what happens. climb back up these steps are nice and small they get bigger and bigger and those ones were massive don't let it be off though it's a gorgeous beach big steps the final stop for today is behind me it's a fun stop this is Teletubbies Hill. Yes, you heard that right. On the tiny island of Nusa Penida in the middle of Southeast Asia, there is a location called Teletubbies Hill. <laughs> it's, it's, you know what, it's on the way home. We're now about to drive straight from the middle of the island. All the mountains like in the middle. This should be a really fun drive back to the hostel. But this was on the way back, so we thought we'd come check it out. I just find it hilarious. I used to watch Taylor as a kid, so you know, full circle really, isn't it? I wonder, I wonder if they're here. I wonder where they are. If you look really carefully, I think I just saw a Teletubby in the distance. Greeks and earthquakes. 